Today we're going to install a MicroShift R9 Road rear derailleur. This installation also applies to the MicroShift R8 and R10 Road rear derailleurs. For proper installation, you will need a torque wrench, a 5 and 4 mm hex bit, a master link pliers, 5 and 4 mm hex wrenches, a Phillips head screwdriver, cable cutter, housing cutter, and chain breaker. First, we attach the rear derailleur to the bike using a 5 mm hex wrench. You want to make sure the B-tension washer is above the derailleur dropout and engages correctly with the B-tension adjustment screw. Then, secure the derailleur attachment bolt between 8 and 10 Nm. Next, we're going to use a screwdriver to adjust the high limit screw until the guide pulley aligns with the outer edge of the smallest cog. Clockwise moves the derailleur inward, and counterclockwise moves the derailleur outward. Every frame manufacturer has a different cable routing guideline, so make sure you consult those before cutting the housing. You will want to make sure that the shift cable housing is cut to the appropriate length. You don't want it too short or too long. If it is too short, it can rotate the derailleur back and forth at the attachment bolt. If it is too long, you will introduce too much friction between the cable and the housing. Make sure the housing is going straight into the derailleur housing stop. Then, shift your shifter to the hardest gear or smallest cog position. Route your cable through the housing and through the rear derailleur. Then route the cable under the groove of the tab below the cable fixing bolt. Pull the cable tight to make sure there is no slack. Use your 4mm hex bit and tighten the cable fixing bolt between 5 and 7 Nm. Then cut off the excess cable. You want to leave a little bit in case you need an adjustment in the future. Add a cable end to make sure the cable does not fray. Now it's time to install the chain. We do this by wrapping the chain around the largest chain ring and the largest cassette cog without routing it through the rear derailleur. Stretch the chain tight. Place two interlinks next to each other on the chain ring. Add one extra interlink and make your cut there. Once properly sized, route the chain over the smallest cog, in front of the guide pulley, behind the derailment prevention plate, and behind the tension pulley. Wrap the chain around the chain ring and connect the chain according to its manufacturer's guidelines. From there, we make a shift from the smallest cog to the second smallest cog. If the chain doesn't move, turn the barrel adjuster on the derailleur counterclockwise. Repeat until the derailleur shifts to the second smallest cog. Then, shift up and down the cassette. If shifting is slow to move to a larger cog, turn the barrel adjuster counterclockwise. If the shifting is slow to move to a smaller cog, turn the barrel adjuster clockwise. Shift to the largest cog on the cassette. Using your hand, try to push the rear derailleur past the largest cog. If the derailleur can move past the cog, adjust the low limit screw. Tighten the low limit screw until you can't move the derailleur past the largest cog, and the guide pulley is centered directly beneath the largest cog. Finally, we are going to make the B-tension adjustment. While in the largest cog, adjust the B-tension screw counterclockwise until the chain and guide pulley are as close to the cog as can be without touching it. And that is how you install the MicroShift R9 Road Rear Derailleur. The installation also applies to the R8 and R10 Road Rear Derailleurs. If you have any questions, please email us at service at microshift.com.